up, world? Yeah, what's the deal, Jersey you two? in the building. Yeah, it's my man Pat from way back, way you know? Way back, like a Cadillac seat. Yeah, like a Cadillac on four flats. On four flats. Yeah, so... What's good, T-Bud? How are you? I'm good, man. You know, for me, the best rap album of 2018 is, is that Victory Lap. You know, that's... That Nipsey, yeah, Nipsey, you know. Put me on that, yo. This I shit was fire, with, Yeah, yo. I fuck with that Nipsey, man. I still fuck with Cole hard, though. That K.O.D. went hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, he's always listenable. You know, I, you know what I mean? I, I mess with J. Cole. He's always... Because I, I feel like, you know, with rap, I like I like guys that like the guys I like. I feel like J. Cole is a big whole fan. He likes Nas. I like them two guys. So, so Sonic... top of the charts. Yeah, yeah so where? sonically, you know what I mean? Like, we probably agree on a lot of things, that, like, opinion-wise, you know what I mean? Like, so who's your favorite rappers? And, like, as far as, like... I know you listen to a wide range of wide things. Range. Yeah, so from east to west. East to west, we're going to keep it right in hometown Jersey. <laughs> Red Man, baby. He got Red a new album that just dropped, Red too. Red, Red Man. Man. And uh, I got the Detroit ICP, Twisted. Uh, out on the West Coast, man, I, it's hard, man. I was spoiled by East Coast rap, bro. You know how hard yeah. it is to find a West Coast rapper. But I can get down with Nipsey, Game. Uh, you know, Chief Keep's kind of Midwest, but still West. You, go, you know, you got the Bay Area, E-40 and whatnot. He's got some 8th grade raps that are catchy and whatnot. 8th grade raps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, he got the nursery raps. So, like, what do you, what do you like, uh, Miss Maya Michelle? Y'all put this same, same shit I was thinking. I was, yeah. I was thinking how the, the content is, is so different, like the quality, you know, versus Eastern and West Coast rappers. Lyrically, or is it the drums? Because I feel like the drums on you, you know, everybody, the drums, I feel yeah, like, you know now, when though. it's easy. They're getting lazy now. They're oh, yeah, you the can same tell. Just the pace. Yeah. 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 The pace. Like, you could tell as soon as Game's track come on, you know it's a Game track. Yeah. yeah. When, when Eminem track come on, you know it's M's track. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, you know, everybody has their, their signature and their sound, I guess. But now the rap is, like, garbage, so it's, it's harder for me to follow it. Like, if something comes out, like, I'd have to, I'd I have to find me, you know thoughts. what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. Mumble rap. I had yeah. one of them shower <laughs> thoughts, you know. To us, <laughs> that thought. mumble rap shit don't sound that great. I'm but like, you know mm. what? If you all, if you on Zannies, perked out, leaned out, on bottles, on blunts, on like, that yeah. shit going to sound like the hardest shit in the yeah. street. I was telling my brother this shit. I was like, yeah. yo, bro, like, yo, we need to do harder drugs if we want to connect with this Real audience. Real shit, like. <laughs> if we want to connect with this audience, we need to. Gotta dumb them down. <laughs> yeah, we need to do drugs that severely inhibit our functioning, our ability to speak. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Like, you that's, know what I'm saying? That's that's the slower you are, the smarter you are, apparently, in the rap game these yeah. days. Yo, it's yeah. crazy, yo. Um, yeah, I definitely feel like that, that wave is, you know, the chemical wave. Like, we on just a chemical wave rapper-wise right now. You know, mm -hmm. for a while it was like, you know, you had like to me what you had like um, your Ice Ts, your Public Enemies, NWAs, and shit like that. Even before that, I guess your Cool Hercs and your people that's like for the culture and the essence of it. Right. And they was doing it for like you know being the voice of the voiceless and like liberation in various forms. I do feel like NWA hijacked rap, in my opinion. Mm. Oh I, hell yeah. That's how I feel. I feel like since NWA rap went took a different direction as far as like. But there's never been anything like it since. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's definitely the gift and the curse. Yeah. The gift and the curse of N.W. I, I, I wouldn't take, I wouldn't be like, yo, I would definitely want Dr. Dre to exist and happen. And I don't think anything would have stopped that from happening. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Same with Ice. Yeah, I say Ice Cube, too. I mean, we, and MC Ren, you know, if he would have, you know what I mean? Like, dudes, you know, it's, I feel like things could have been different, you know, but I, I just feel like um, maybe the fact that it was Heller and Easy e that was wielding the money. That's yeah. what it was. That things went a different way, you know what I mean? Like, as far as, like, the uh, the direction. The direction. Yeah. Split up. Everybody wound yeah. up just being in beef and whatnot. Like, yeah. we couldn't get them dudes back together if we tried these days, and everybody knows we want some NWA back in the game. You can't even get G-Unit together. No. Nah. And they're all alive. All of them. <laughs> all of them. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, it's, like, it, so, I don't know. You know, 50's out on his savage shit. He don't give a fuck about nobody. He done bought up Murder, Inc. For real? <laughs> yeah, I just Yeah, I just know 50 don't. Never let shit go. Never. That's why, Never. you know what I mean? He was saying that. He woke up in the uh, video hating in his penthouse. Like, you ain't even brush your teeth waking up hating like Fabulous said. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of heat coming up off that bed, money. Seriously. But no, I was, no, <laughs> was going to say, though. So I'm trying I, to stay relevant. Yeah, definitely. I know a lot. Yeah, that's, but that's what he's been doing, bullying yeah, people. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? It's like, relevant. 50 can do that. Yeah. I'll be feeling 50 yeah. can do that of all the guys that do yeah. that. My brother you know put me D on, on 50 a long time ago. He told me straight up, 50's a G. And the reason is because he called all these dudes out. Nobody power of the dollar. Responded. The power of the dollar, yeah. The power of the dollar. And then anybody who did respond, he bought them out. Yeah. Look at LOX and Styles and J. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to say, yeah, like, um, Jada lyrically is just as better. 
Yeah. To me, Wait, lyric, yeah, lyrically, Jada's better, so 50 couldn't just bully him. I just know your worst, you know I mean? uh, your worst nightmare is a straight up wax record with no words, acapella joint. You can't spit on it, 50. No, yeah, no, he can't. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like, Jada could rap over anything, it's gonna sound dope. You know, 50 is just like a bully. You know what I mean? He kind of, I don't know, it's the energy levels. With rap, I feel like it's all energy levels. And, like, I definitely feel like you got different phases of rap that come and go and shit, like conscious eras and different. And it's kind of like everybody's in their lane, you know, like, because yeah. it's almost like the co common birth, like the Kanye's who birth, like the J. Cole's and the Drake's and the all them people. Like, they, they kind of should be, a lot of people should be thanking Common. I feel like Common. Not a lot of people. Yeah, you know what I mean? A lot of people. And Common went. Common just tried to give a, a, a head nod to Ice Cube back in the day, and Ice Cube <laughs> took it the wrong way and turned it into a diss track. Yeah, yeah. Them two start beefing, and it ain't been the same for Common ever since. Mm. Yeah, yeah. No, the beefs are crazy, man. You just mess with the money. You yeah. just mess with each other's, you know what I mean? Well, nowadays, we got people beefing just for money. Drake and Meek Mill. Yeah. We got Game and Meek Mill. Game and Drake, like, they yeah. just beef for the money now. Like, the industry can't sell their records no more because nobody wants to listen to the garbage. So, you put up a beef record and boom, you got sales again. Yeah, so, so I don't know what's the marketing plan anymore. Because at this point, you got to get 1,500 streams to get one, that's considered one download, right? Yeah. 1,500 or something like that? I think that's the iTunes. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. I'm pretty sure it's 1,500 yeah, streams. Do, I don't do iTunes, but like, I get down with that's considered one record sale, though. Yeah. That's not. That's yeah. mass streams. Yeah, like, seriously. I don't listen to a song 1,500 times in a year, maybe. Yeah. But like, you know, so I, but like I've downloaded it or paid for it. You know what I mean? So I feel like the the marketing, it, that's what to me. I don't know where the game can go because people gotta get compensated for their like efforts for tours and all that type of shit or, yeah. or for whatever they package That's why them. I don't fuck with Spotify. I'd rather pay my artists buy their albums. Spotify pays them pennies on the dollar per stream. Mm. Like, pay your artists for what they do and what they give you. It's not something easy. They go in that booth and they, they put hard work in. It's not just an hour studio session. That may be all they pay for, but they definitely put in more work than just an hour for your record. So, yeah, definitely. So, so who's your musical sleepers, though? Musical sleepers. It don't have to be rap. Like for me, my musical sleepers. I listen. To, I listen to a lot of Maxwell and Kim and Sade and John Legend. Okay. Um, you got any musical sleepers? Yeah, yeah. Sade. Every time. If Sade. If you ever SZA. want a baby. SZA's coming up. I'm, I'm starting to get man. down with SZA. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Any anybody anybody? I mean, just as far as the regions, anything like that, anything new or different um, that you might have been listening to? Well, you know. 3-6 Mafia changed their name to Mafia 6, and they actually signed to Psychopathic Records. DJ Paul just dropped his last record under Psychopathic Records. And right before that, I think he Mafia just made 6, a beat for somebody. He made a beat for ICP. He makes all kinds so, of beats for them now. Yeah. Hey, if I say DJ Paul made a, a beat that on some platinum record, something like that, I don't know, but yeah, I know he'd be making beats, yeah. I, so, I mean, like, East, West, North, South, abroad, music, what is it? You know what I mean? Is it is it energy levels that bring people together? Is it the experience? Because I feel like a lot of people listen to Beanie Siegel because he's frightening. I can you know get what I'm saying? That. He's yeah. frightening. Like he he he's he scared you. Bully. Yeah, exactly. like I'm gonna buy this record because he scared me into it. True. You know what I mean? Like I don't personally like Beanie Siegel's music that much. I don't think he's the worst rapper, yeah. but I feel like a lot of people put rappers that make him afraid higher on the level. But that was years ago. Now now it's like okay to be afraid. Right. Kind of. So now it's crazy like how like people are like, yeah, my favorite rappers is Drake or whoever the fuck they say. And I ain't got nothing against Drake. To me, he's like a company. Like, yeah. To me, Drake is like a conglomerate and Aubrey is the performer of that conglomerate. Yep. You know what I mean? That's how I look at it. So I don't know. And I can get all the way behind that. Yeah, you know what I mean? I, you know, exactly. You know, I don't know. I nothing against the guy, but that's the reality. You know what I mean? He's always going to be Jimmy from Degrassi. I can't yeah. look at him another way. <laughs> you the one that that's told a, me yeah, that too. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's always going to be Jimmy from the I can't. Jimmy yeah, in that wheelchair, baby. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, but it's, it's nothing wrong. He'll probably get back into acting. I bet oh, you Drake God. at the he end, he'll yeah. get back into acting. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because well, he's an actor. He's never not acting. After he keeps getting slammed on records. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So he's going to have to get back into acting. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean. Ride the wave, though. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Drake is going to be producing cheesy records that people eat up forever probably forever. you know what i mean you know that it's a lot of people he was groomed up for it you know what i mean like it's and that's cool just like a quarterback or something that got groomed up point guard or something that got groomed up for it you, you know just put mean? a bunch of dudes around you that know what they're doing and you pick up what they're doing yeah it turns you into somebody who acts like they know what they're doing it's easier to be great around greatness yeah for sure is. easy you know what i mean sure. definitely um yeah like we can look at lebron though. and think that 
Yeah. I mean, look what he did in Cleveland at J.R. Smith losing that last second ball right there. Yeah, sometimes yeah, yeah. pressure bust pipes, you know what I mean? But I just mean like Drake's dad was in the industry, just kind of like Nas's dad was in the industry. Like mad people's parents is in the industry. You know what I mean? Lenny dad, Kravitz's he was in New parents. And whatnot, right? huh? he was in the, uh, Nas's dad, he was more into like the jazz scene though, wasn't he? Yeah, Aludara was, that. yeah, he was touring and people, yeah, I mean, but you know, rap is like, 35% jazz, you know what I mean? Like, sure. it's like 35% jazz. 35% rock. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, it's like, it's, a, it's like a deformity, like, mashup of m shit, you know what I mean? Rap. In the most beautiful way possible. Yeah, it's like rap. It's like a rap, you know what exactly. I mean? You know what I mean? So. Just wraps it back around into yeah. itself. Yeah. Definitely, man. Aside from hip hop, man, what else has you motivated to keep doing what you're doing every day, T? Like, you get up every day and you bust your ass hard work. <laughs> What keeps you motivated? Because you always got headphones in your ears, so there's got to be something other than mu music that keeps you going. I like to listen to instrumentals because I like to, I like my, I like, you know, I'm at this point I'm making music too. So like, True. I like to make, you know, I like to listen to the instrumentals so I can always, if bars come to my mind and, it, you know, it, it'll stay there every time I listen to the instrumental, it'll keep coming back to me and stuff, you know, it's not nothing you new. You the whole track that way? Yeah, definitely, man. I mean, to me, like, it, I can make a song and, five minutes, 10 minutes, you know what I mean? Honestly, the longer it takes, the more I walk away from it. You know what I mean? If it's not flowy, then I'm like, uh, I don't want to. everything though. Yeah, exactly. You know what I like mean? If you're not in the right sort of drunk or high, you yeah. can't listen to certain records. Yeah, it's all about that alignment. You know what I mean? Like I'm not in a, an alignment in a strip club. I'm not about to listen to, um, who am I? Yeah, like certain, yeah. certain well, maybe T-Pain in strip club. I'm just saying certain, <laughs> I'm saying certain people in strip club, I'm not going to, you know, if I was listening to that, I wouldn't be in alignment. You know what I mean? Like it's, if I'm not drinking and smoking, I'm not in alignment with, uh, I don't know, track 13 off of Equimini. You know what I mean? I don't know, like, yeah. like shit like that. Yeah, uh, growing old. You know what I mean? Yeah, but um, um, yeah, I just feel like a lot of it has to do with energy levels. Man, as far as, you know, my regimen, I just, I've seen like the success in, 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 um, in detoxing and taking it, you know, to different levels little by little every day. So every day I just be like, man, I don't want to regress. That's kind of what, what I'd be like, man, what's the next day? Like, what's the instructions that this next day is going to give me for my life? Like, I kind of just want to open myself up to receive as much as possible, you know? And that's the same thing with music too. I don't really want to like shun any music or anybody. I still like want to absorb it all. And take it all in. Cause, Try anything at least once. Um, most things see. musically, yeah. <laughs> musically, yeah. I'm about to say, I'm about to say sexually now. <laughs> but, <laughs> but um, yeah. Oh, okay. We talk about that. Um, I used to. It's funny. I used to listen to Black album all the time when I was fucking back in the day. Yeah. I, it was like something I could always throw on. It was kind of loud. You know what I mean? I feel like people you put on certain music for sex. Tech nine. Yeah. Okay. Right on, right on. All right. How about you? Note. What'd you put on? I don't put on no. You like I want to hear everything. Yeah, no. everything. I want to hear your heartbeat, no. baby. Oh and you can't have silent sex. That, that just don't work out. Like, yeah. yeah. You feel like a slave. Real yeah. shit. You feel like you in like you know what I mean? Like you in the slave yeah, quarters, like. And even if not, you still trying to figure out like, do I say something? Yeah. Do I just stay quiet. Like, yeah. What type of dirty talk? Like. You yeah, know? the dirty whispers. Seriously. You know what I mean? The pillow talk that comes to life. Yeah, like I'm just trying to think, like, yeah, yeah, yeah and that's that's funny, but like as far as. It's funny how like music has its time and place for everything, you know what I mean? Like it's everything. I think it depends on the comfort placement. level so, yeah. of the, the the listener, you know what I'm saying? And and how uh, I guess open your perspective is is gonna dictate kind of like what type of music even resonates with you. you yeah, definitely. Because when I was listening to like I wonder why they called you bitch by Pac in like '96, yeah. <laughs> I was like I like how this sounds, but I don't understand any of this. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And now that I can receive it all, I'm like, oh, he was saying this was a very layered song. You know, and I just, it's so much like that, though. So much that you can revisit and be like, that's what he said. I do that with movies all the time, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. I used to watch way back in the day. As a kid, you don't really understand the adult situations or, you know, the conscious situations. But as you get older and you think back or even rewatch or revisit those situations, you can kind of be like, oh, you know, that's what I missed back then. That's what I didn't understand. Yeah. It just gives you a whole new opening, a whole new view, a whole new understanding. The aha moment and the shit. The aha moment, yeah. exactly. So much symbolism and symbology. And, all and in and some all places, you can count that as your evolution period sometimes, yeah. like when you have a new understanding of something. Yeah, definitely. Because I have a new understanding of health, and, you know, although I'm still on the right path or getting on the right path, it's still an evolution process. 
Yeah, no, definitely. Every day, you know, every day from, from breath to breath, you got to just, you know, take your small wins where you can get them, man. Oh, no. And then it all snowballs. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's, right now, it's like we're trying to stop a huge snowball health-wise, like as like a humanity in a sense. Like we're really sick, you know, and separated in, in a lot of ways. But, you know, it, it, you can't, you got to change it from inside out and just do the little, the gradual work every day. Okay, yeah, yeah the, the small yeah. stuff every day. That's what Teddy Pendergrass said. He said, we can't change the world if we just leave it the way it is. Yeah, yeah, be the change you want to see. I, for On a conscious note, as far as music, I know a lot of people uh, listen to music out of comfort because they know, it's like the same thing while you watch a movie you've seen mm -hmm. before. It's like, I know the beginning and end. It's like, I know, since there's no certainty in life, really, because like anything can fucking happen. Like your mom could die right now. Yeah. Anything can happen, whatever. And like, that's why you should appreciate everything. Yeah. But I feel like a lot of us, we get caught up in in an autistic way almost where we like repeat music and songs because it's that comfort level because you know like okay i know from beginning to end i know what this entails i know how life's gonna go for the next three minutes like i kind of can shut off and be unconscious yeah exactly if you can control it it's it's more comforting i know the end of this movie so it's yeah it's a comfort for the next two hours of my life i know how life is going to be instead of like uh you know kind of submitting to the possibility that anything can happen True. you know what i mean and i feel like once you do that then when you I'm know yeah i don't listen to certain music because it, it don't vibe with you yeah it affects your body like so much yeah when people uh, underestimate how the, all the subconscious um you know programming that goes on within music right is telling you to do certain things and like your body is receptive to that so it's like in that moment i'm you know i'm managing my energy right there and i don't want to just be open to anything and everything like i kind of want to keep it you know pure so yeah it just yeah. depends on where i'm at and yeah. that's like the vibrations in your body like yeah. if you can't read those vibrations coming to you on that record in that moment you know you sweeping the floors you want to hear something to keep you upbeat yeah right. but yeah. if you're going to be laying down you want something to relax you if you got that flip-flop right there it's just not going to work out for you the vibration ain't right it's just not going to have you where you need to be yeah it's like smoking some indica and trying to go and do something like try that, to mow that. along yeah exactly. like, you know what i mean like, like you're not just going to have a hard time you're going to have a bad time yeah exactly you just yeah working against yourself exactly for, for sure work smart not hard yeah exactly you know what i mean you know do what you can while you can and i definitely feel like um that that's you know true but like I, certain it's like acid music and alkaline music you know what i mean like different times of the yeah, day yeah. is more acidic like i might want to listen to some hard shit yeah. you know what i mean i'm not about to throw some hard shit on at 4 a.m probably you know what i mean nah, nah, you know I, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah you know so it, it it's funny how music is like a, a time and place appropriate you know it's all about the energy man yeah that's definitely. why yeah that's why i say like with the consciousness changing i see it in some people like you know with your guys coming out they saying there's different content in the lyrics it's like at a low level though, you know what I mean? Like, it's kind of crazy because I still feel like your most deaths, your qualies, um, Bobby. yeah, I mean, uh, Crooked Eyes, Joe Buttons, people that are like really wordsmiths, mm, like when yeah. I, yeah, like, you know, as far as that, like, I feel like it's not many of those coming from the newer guys. The, yeah. young, the younger guys, it's not many real wordsmiths. They don't have to go that, that. People yeah. don't like reading anymore. They have a tension span of like a you know goldfish or something. But so when is like, old hip hop gonna rescue new hip hop? Yeah, where can they meet at? Right. Uh, like, it's a cycle yeah. we're going through. We've got to yeah. have we've got to have the big dudes who've been doing this game for a long time. We got to have them come down to these young kids and be like, look, you getting money, you having fun, but for longevity in this game, this is what you're gonna have to look at. This is what you're gonna need to change. This is what we got to work on. This is who you need to look at. This is where you need to get some respect yeah. from. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like you, you gotta have guidance from. Yeah, the somewhere. media training and stuff. But I just know that a lot of the dudes with the money is the dudes that ruined it. To be real, like to be, like to be totally real, like. like the, yeah. Well, Outkast is responsible for future. Like uh, Rick Ross and Jeezy, like that's Jay Z. Like you know what I mean? I feel like, and I don't know as far as like things going into an unconscious direction. Sure. That's what I'm saying. I don't have a problem with these people. I'm like you know personally, I don't really know them, so I don't yeah. really you know it ain't like I have a problem with them. I'm just saying, like, as far as things going in an unconscious direction in the culture, the guys that had the money, whether it be Dre, Jay, uh, you know, Outkast, like I said, bringing in Future. Um, it's only a handful of guys. Jay Prince. Jay Prince is probably one of the realest ones, though. I would mm -hmm. say, like, you know, guys holding it down in the game, you know, that doesn't really feed into, like, changing the sound up to where, you know, you're trying to sell the shit to eighth eight-year-olds and stuff like that like at this point yeah. we they're trying to sell to like 12 year olds and merchandise to 12 year olds and 
That's why, I, to me, it just feels so sick. Yeah, buy so, this, wear this, yeah. drink this, do this. Yeah. And it, it's, it's all about Hear influence. this, see yeah. this, feel this. Hijacking the consumer yeah, for the next man. 40, 60 right years. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. hijack you and your kids. So yeah. it's very personal, I think. People yeah. don't realize that. Music is very personal. Yeah, definitely. And that's the thing. So I just feel like guys that had the money, they're going to suppress the, the dope artists. Like, yeah. yeah, like Jay not let, you know, Jay suppressing Joe Budden's career or yeah. anything, man. Like, there's so many guys the known and unknown that have been suppressed by guys that are in other positions but that's just the fear you know i just feel like it's just fear there's a lot of fear in the game you know people don't want oh, to take yeah. a lot you of don't, it. Yeah. but it's just like that anyway in any chances. workplace you know you yeah. got the young the young kid coming in that's going to take over the old duck spot and you know the old duck is going to be like yeah right i'm going to get you fucked up so you can't even be here yeah you know what i mean like it's exactly. that uh, it's that fear to be eaten alive type of deal yeah and then you got drake like he he's just like whatever wave is I'm a whatever wave is happening I'm a jump on it and like and I don't want to say perfect it but kind of yeah like he's like whatever wave is happening I'm a ride that wave it, whether it be yeah he just rides wave and like yeah. and you know what I mean he's just gonna ride the wave <laughs> spin it his way uh -huh. and people like it and they call it his shit that's the you know what I mean that's the you know and I and I can't even knock it I'm like yo this is your method mm, you're works. killing him like yeah. you know what I mean you're killing him with this method of like just riding wave you know what I mean because to me, Drake. Lil Wayne did it the same way. Yeah, definitely. You know what I mean? And that's exactly where he got it from. Yeah. I mean, from the best. Yeah, the hoes and the gillies. And even T-Pain influenced Lil Wayne and shit. Mad people, man. And so it, many. Yeah, you know. it's That's the thing, too. It's just the money. It got a lot to do with the money. You know, like, yeah. the Carter was recorded at Baron Davis's house. Like, oh, shit. You know what I mean? Like, it just, yeah. you know, it's just, I'm just saying, like, as far as the community of entertainers and athletes, like. Carter 4 was recorded right here in Phoenix. For real? Yes, sir. I didn't know. Yeah. Yeah, you learn something new every day, you know? <laughs> I just feel like rap is so influential and it's growing so, like, exponentially. But it just, it's like... The influence isn't in the right place, though. Yeah. The influence is giving us the influence of, you know, being gay and, you know, doing any drug you can get when your it, hands on and just being a straight fuck-up in your entire life. Like, yeah. don't nobody want to be Slim Thug? Don't nobody want to be these idiots that got their fucking hair colored and can't freestyle for the front cover of, you know, double XL? Like, we want freshman that. year with J. Cole back. We want freshman year with all them young cats that was doing it big. Andre 3000 when he did it. Big boys doing new songs and shit. Yeah, that, that's the, I guess that's the issue for me. It's hard for me to like young guys. Because yeah. I like, you know, I like who they like. You know what I mean? It's hard for me to appreciate anybody that's younger than me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because you, you like who they like. You know what I mean? Like, when I hear J. Cole, I'm like... You're from Fayetteville. You don't. You don't sound like you're from Fayetteville. No, nah, you know you what I mean. Like, like an East Coast cat. Like you like sound crazy. like who you listen to. Yeah. You know what I mean. Like mm. that's that to me. So like whenever I listen to people, I'll be like, Yo, I don't hear you. I hear all these guys' bars. Like I don't. The the cadence and the delivery to me is all the same. You know what I mean. Like that's the you know, like when I hear Lupe, I'll be like, Yo, Lupe, he like got the J delivery with most deaf lyrics. Like, I just feel like, I don't know, it's just funny how people, you know, you you kind of can't hide your influences. Mm. And some people, like, to me, it's just, they're so unoriginal that it's hard for me to It makes to you listen. wonder how they yeah. still have careers and how yeah. they're getting pussy through these streets. <laughs> Went in. Oh, illusion. Yeah, That's definitely. Well, we know it's an illusion. <laughs> Slim yeah. Doug is sucking off dudes. Oh, well, that's I a didn't different know. story. Right. What is that about, man? Yeah, I was gonna say, what is with the yeah, homosexuality? Like that is not gangster. How you can be? Yeah. Like, you cannot oh, yeah. claim to be any kind of a gangster and sucking another man's dick. I think that. Yeah, I think that's the thing too. Like, cause you got the African American culture here. People think that it's just to poison African Americans, but it's to poison an entire continent of nearly a billion black motherfuckers in Africa. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah. Back in the 1950s, 60s, and 70s, Planned Parenthood actually pushed on black men to have homosexual sex as a form of birth control, uh, birth control and child child control. Whoa. And they pushed it a lot in the crack epidemic era. And, Fax machine right now. You know, yeah. it's just, it's one of those things where, you know, had the white man not said it, the black man might have never even got into it because we need black men every day and women who will literally sit there and tell you, oh, my kid is gay. They're not going to live here. You never going to see me kiss no bitch. You never going to see me kiss no dude. Yeah. You know what I, I mean? I've like, seen that with some white dudes, but yeah, and I know what you mean. Like, I know some white families be like super Christian and be like, nah, you ain't about to be gay. But so even know, in the black yeah, community, yeah. like, you know, you use a mixed dude. Like, if had, had you approached, you know, an all black mom and 
with a black friend and been like, you know, this is my boyfriend or whatever, how do you think that that black mom would have reacted, you know? I got an aunt, and her son is, is gay, and she still don't acknowledge it. See? You know what I mean? Like, you know, and it's crazy, you know what I mean? Like, because he's from Camden, New Jersey, so oh, it's not like yeah. he's a chump, you yeah, know what I mean? It's just, he's just gay, you know what I mean? Because it's chemicals, though. It's a lot of biological Yeah, going it's the on. chemicals, man. Oh, yeah, we chemically being attacked and oh, vibrationally attacked yeah, with the music yeah. and the yeah. images. All the time. People are racing yeah. their, their organs and shit constantly. You all know, the back in the day, it used to be like the craziest thing to see the side of a woman's breast on TV. Now we got more men's ass cheeks on TV than in our fucking drawers. I know, so yeah. these shows, I'm like, I did not sign up for this. Like, yo, the that. fucking, what's the, hit the floor on BET, bro. They got more fucking gay action than they do straight action. I don't watch TV, though, so I don't no, yeah. Well, the only None reason I picked yeah. that up was for Tiana Taylor. Oh, Shout okay. Tiana Taylor. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Right. What up? What up, TT? So for real. Yeah. But no, really though, I, no, I, I think it is like total emasculation of of, of, the, of the male gender in general. Not just blacks, but definitely. Definitely, definitely blacks. The male gender. Definitely blacks, but definitely the males overall. I feel like the whole society of the world. And it's it's crazy too. Like Even it, trendsetters could do that though. Yeah. Well, America's always been a place that relied on black men for one thing or another. But yeah. since they can't get it through their own means, they're going to turn it back into a slave ship one day. They're going to fuck up the black community so much that they're just going to turn around and wind up in an enslavement process again. It's bad. It, it feels like, you know, I shouldn't even be thinking this shit because I'm a white man. But it's the reality, you know, though, that the reality of it is, is that I don't face anywhere near the same kind of discretion, scrutiny, nothing like that when it comes to law enforcement or anything. I've had the white privilege handed to me. I've had a cop let me go in the fucking station when they found a warrant. They wouldn't do that for no black man. Yeah, no, yeah, no, I, I know, I know. It's just, you know, for it's, it's silent in a lot of ways. The the attack because it's chemical. You know, they keep they keep low income people, whether they be black or Hispanic or whatever, they keep them in places where they got terrible water, terrible air, all the food that's you know adjacent. The worst education yeah, available. Yeah, all the food adjacent to them is garbage. Mm -hmm. You know, they're getting garbage in the schools as far as food, so, you know, they're not getting any real education, like you said, and, you know. Whatever education they do get, it gets eaten up by the parasites in their food. <laughs> Word. Yeah, no, it's, it's the real. The fluoride though. in the water, the yeah. parasites in the food. Yeah, everything. The poisons in the food, like, yeah. one way or the other, the whatever education they get, they're not getting an education. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's, it's just contorting the hormones to where we have this chemical reality or unreality that we have today. And the music it's is so unreal that this is the reality. Yeah, and the music. That's what the yeah. up part is. And the music is an expression of that, for sure. I feel like I don't know. You know, the only thing you can do to change it is, you know, definitely a pay for the the true music. You know, yeah. that's the only way you can really do it for it. And, and or create your own, you know, and from scratch as much as you can. Exactly. You know what I mean? If you can learn an instrument or whatever. Anything that's going to be organic is going to be the most beneficial. Yeah, closest to organic, you know. And if you can't, then support the organic. Exactly. Yeah. We got people out here every day. I got friends that I grew up to with, went to high school with, you know, people that are even younger than me, writing books, owning businesses, driving trucks on their own with their own companies. I didn't necessarily choose that life, and I'm not saying that my life is different, but everybody's got their own path everybody did something different and everybody has something they can learn from somebody in exchange yeah in exchange yeah yeah the barter system was honestly the worst thing that we could have ever done away with in our entire lives yeah because now instead of being able to say hey look i got i got these chocolate chip cookies there's no chocolate chips anywhere else in the world if you teach me how to play guitar i'll give you some chocolate chip cookies we don't have that ability anymore yeah we're nah. based it's based on a monetary system of nothingness like the money that we have today is backed by nothing definitely at least back before 1924 it was backed by gold yeah and the gold standard but look who brought somebody tried to bring back the gold standard Muammar Gaddafi what happened to him what happened yeah. to him yeah yeah, what happened yeah. To him? <laughs> yeah. He did. Yeah. yeah, no, that's what I was going to say, too. Like, we need to move. And that's what I'm seeing in my life. I was talking about this to Maya earlier. Like, um, I can see, like, we need to move to a different form of currency or credit or credibility. Like, and I can see my life going in that direction in a sense where, like, yeah, you have, like, a real barter, a real exchange with people, like, real energetic exchanges to where, yeah, everything, you know, it's just compl it's more complete exchanges and yeah. instead of, like, this money thing that's volatile and it's, you know, it's it's being produced irrespective to goods and services, inflation in the market. You know, that the money thing is crazy. So I see now at this point in my life that I've brought it to a certain level of balance, I guess, to where like it's apparent 
when I have to give, when I have to receive and all that type of stuff. Like it's like the ebb and flow is kind of there in a sense, like where I'm just getting closer and closer to human exchanges. And I, you know, I would like to see that for everybody to where we all doing whatever we do in exchange. You know what I mean? Where, you know, whether you teach a language or yeah, you teach yoga or you teach math or you teach construction or you teach whatever you teach in exchange for something else to learn or for a product or whatever. But if you're a teacher, yeah. you already have the upper hand on everybody and you should treat that as gold because yeah. you have an ability to learn and teach. It's not yeah. just a one-way street of just learning. Like yeah. me, I can only learn certain things. It's so hard for me to teach anybody anything. I yeah. can't even teach myself how to ride a bike anymore. <laughs> no, I know. That's why the, that's the good, the beauty of teaching, I would say, for me and my experience is that maybe you can run into a pupil that will invigorate a question that you can you know, it resonates inside you to where you like, I can answer this question and learn something myself and learn how to teach this answer better. Yeah, you know, yeah. I run into that a lot with you people. Know, yeah, yeah world, definitely. So. Definitely. Yeah. Being a, if you ever try to give up on being a student, then you just gave up on life. You know what yeah. I'm yeah. 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 That's and when you start dying. You know, you exactly. That's exactly when you start deteriorating right then and there. Yeah. Because if you refuse to take in any new information, you just stuck in the old dead yeah. information. Yeah. Then you can't give anything new. Exactly. Yep. So I mean, um, that's what I see though. That for me in my life, that that's what I see where things are headed to where the exchanges are getting away from money and more real exchanges, whether it be like love like true care for somebody, whatever passion, it is. Compassion, compassion. Yeah, you know, real exchanges exactly. to where money is like not even a thing. You know what I mean? You know, it's, I'm on my way, you know. We all getting there. Yeah. We all got to find that right person and that right moment and that right monetary gain to be able to trade and, you know, fuel off of each other, feed off of each other, learn from each other, teach each other. It's all about them value systems, man. Yeah, you can't be with people, yeah, yeah. You can't be around people that have different value systems, you know. Because you'll feel it more with a certain person that doesn't value the same things, and you don't feel like you're spending on them. Rather than, like, when it's an even energy exchange, you're not thinking about that. You're just like, you know what? I enjoy your company. Yeah. You know, I, and I feel it with you as well, so it doesn't feel like I'm taxing myself. Yeah. To, you know, spend time with you or whatever, you know, whatever it is. True story. Definitely. Yeah. But having a significant other, what do you think, T, what do you think having a significant other means as far as sacrifice coming from yourself? You know what I mean? Like, if, uh, right you now. know, obviously when you, when you enter, <laughs> when you enter into a situationship, as you describe it yourself, you know, you obviously sacrifice things as a human. You sacrifice people, that, places, and things to have that significant other. To me, yeah, that's what I mean. It's a trade, though. It is. It's, it's a, a I don't think it should be a sacrifice. I think it should be even trades, man. You know what I mean? Like, inhale, exhale. Like, I don't get to hang around these people, so I get to hang around you. I don't get to, you know, I don't feed off of people in this way. I don't get my fix in this way from these people. So we get, you know, we give each other our fix in this way. It's like a trade thing. And it's, to me, it's like whatever trade deal that, you know, works out for you, yo. Yeah. Like, are you willing to give up this much emotional energy to have this person in this way? Like, because it's just the dynamic. You really like, you like, does this dynamic fit into my life? And it, where does it fit? You know what I mean? Yeah. People that are, like they see that okay, I'm lacking in this area because I'm with you, and you're not. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like it's interesting. We also like, have a world though now yeah. where, since sex got easier to get, love got harder to find. Yeah. And you know, there's a lot of people out here like you know, men and women are equally terrible with this shit. Oh, but, of course. You know, men will turn around and be like, oh, she's such a fucking dog. She's a slut just because she wouldn't give him none, uh -huh. but she's giving it to everybody else. You know what I mean? Like it's mm. the mentality like. You know, you want something, you got to give something. You you, you attract more bees with honey than you do with vinegar. Yeah, definitely. No, there's more, there's more facts for my man. I, I, yeah, that's, <laughs> no, I was going to say, though, as far as, you know, as, as far as the trade the, or the, the, which people are calling sacrifice, I think, you know, you got to really just be real with yourself, you know what I mean, and, and, and your value system. And if your ultimate agenda don't line up with the other person's, at some point this, this ride got to end. You know, right. at some point, I guess the ride ultimately got to end. Oh yeah, you know, one way or the yeah. other, there's 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 a, yeah. a half life on that situation, yeah. no matter what. Yeah, like cause you know, born alone, die alone. I can't get in the casket and, and and be like I'm Patrick. I can't be like I'm my. I mean, she can't fall out my mom's pussy and be like I'm Taylor. Like you know what I'm saying? For like, sure. you know, born alone, die alone, and and but like in an empowering way though. Like you know what I mean? Like this is your specific path for you that 
you, the universe paid for you. You know what I mean? Like, right. you're trying yeah. to walk on these other paths. Yeah, respect yeah. yourself. Yeah. Like, respect yeah. yourself. Yeah. You just got to stay on your path. Stay mm-hmm. in your yeah. themselves, yeah. man. Yeah. Just to get in a relationship. Like, and, yeah. Yourself. Sometimes paths overlap with other people's paths. Yeah. And y'all should enjoy that to yeah. the fullest. Yeah. Fully utilize that to Walk like. Walk down one path together for a little while. Yeah. Have some fun. But yeah. eventually the path has to split. Yeah. It yeah. has to be a split. And if, whether but we all split, come from the same place and go to the same place. Exactly. One way or the other. So it don't matter if it's distance at I'll some point. I'll on the other side. Yeah. <laughs> We've already figured out that the distance isn't the destination. It's the, yeah. it's the travel that gets us there. That's yeah what we're trying to enjoy in the yeah. most. And the, yeah, and the distance is all an illusion, too, man, because it's all connected, you know what I mean? Like, whether, you know, one way or another, like, if everything's connected, man. Everything. If, it, if something happened to Pat, it would affect me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, everything, you know, that's that's more literal, but everything's connected that way, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. whereas our paths is intertwined, you know what I mean? Intertwined as opposed to crossing, though. Because, yeah. you know, you and me, we could have crossed paths years ago, but our paths are intertwined. I'm learning from you. You're teaching. You yeah. learn from me a little bit, I hope. Hey. Yeah, no, nah, it's always an exchange, man. It yeah, to, always, man. It has to be, it has always. to be an even exchange, not just an unbalanced exchange. Yeah, no, nah, Pat, man, you, you know, you, you, you definitely, you know what I mean, you taught me a lot over the years, whether you know it or not, man. Everybody do, you know what I mean? But definitely you, we spend enough time, for sure, to where I got perspective from, just from knowing you, man, and your family and everything. And um, so. I definitely think it was a different world growing up with you and your older brother, too, man. If I didn't have y'all two growing up, man, it might have been a little bit different. I might have ran into the wrong people and never even had this path. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, definitely, man. And same, you know, it's kind of the same thing too, because you never, I never known what I'd have got into if I wasn't playing video games in your basement. Real shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. So, you know, but. <laughs> Teching, yeah, teching. Yeah, Four o'clock in the morning. Forge his friendship. Lose friendship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ends them and starts them. Beat me too hard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You do that man like that. I, I, yo, my man was. Uh, what was the dude's name? Jin. The uh, devil. Who was the devil dude? I don't even remember. All I remember. And he had the wings. Eddie that was Gordo. my man. Eddie Gordo Eddie was the man. Gordo yeah. Was that dude. <laughs> but uh, he's still putting in work on the new Tekken too. Okay. So all right. So musically or movie wise, we have to wrap this up then. What do you? Uh, anything right now? That you listening to? Nah, man. You know, I'm just trying to keep everything open. Like, I, I got turned on to some new music this weekend on on day trips and and you know hangout sessions. Yeah. And uh, you know, I just try to keep my ears open, but I always try to keep my ears open for local shit. Yeah. T Bud's got albums. He's got music. I want to hear shit. You Listen know? to that shit, we man. Pleasure to lay, baby. Smoke is doing. We already know what smoke doing. So yeah, <laughs> we yeah, uh, so. but you know, we just you know movies, man. Fuck that shit. Don't go to the movies. Don't pay for shit. Okay. That yeah. shit don't support on. shit. Yeah, don't support none of that shit. <laughs> that well, this is Black Panther. That shit was fly. Yo, I didn't like that movie. <laughs> yeah. Yo, oh, we can talk about that right now, yo. I thought the story was cool. We all get like several thumbs down. Yeah. I, just, it was, I wasn't at it. That movie was I mean, cheese. It's, po- it's positive I think the, imagery. I right? think the purple shit was Salt Palmetto. Yeah. Yeah. I think, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think that's what it was. My, my man got his he got his bigger up. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. It was weak. I didn't know. To me, it was cheese. Later, yeah. Later. I mean, later, anything, later. anything. Um, what is that shit called? Not, it's not the green screen. It's the um, CGI. The CGI yeah, shit. The, the yeah, yeah. The NASA's finest. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> NASA's <laughs> finest. That's right. You know what I mean? Like that shit. I don't know. Like I just can't watch a whole movie of that. You know what right. I mean? Like that whole shit. Like to me, people are like this is a black film. You should support it. I'm like, I didn't support Dame Dash's paid in full like this. Well, mm-hmm. shit. Mm-hmm. You know I mean, it's a Nobody black. Nobody supported Belly like that. Yeah. Nobody yo. supports State Prop like that. Yeah. Like yo. Paid in full is like there's like no white people in that joint. Like I don't think I think it's like five white people maybe background somewhere. Like I don't know. Like yo, it's like no white people in that movie made by Dame Dash, but he's a real dude. So yeah. people, yeah. it's like Lee Daniels took two million dollars from from Dame Dash. He made the movie Precious. Just stole his money. Stole his money. You know what I'm saying? Like, it. yeah, like game he, called him at the Aretha yeah, concert. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. 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 Lee Daniels is looking all crazy. Yeah. Yeah. He's looking all bougie. Yeah. Like, I never talk. thought yeah. I'd see the day. Let's talk about this day. Yeah, yeah. Lee Daniels got fucked up over that shit. Yeah, yo, I yeah, his death. Yeah, he he was like, some security didn't get Damon. Right. Like, yeah. But no, like that that's um, that's funny. Yeah, that's hilarious. I lost my train of thought because of Lee Daniels. Oh, the yeah. movies, man. Yeah, no. Supporting that movie and yeah. shit. Like, to me, I, yeah, I, Paid in Full, Cloud Atlas, and Cloud Atlas, and City yeah. of God is my yeah, favorite City top three. Yeah, it's my definitely. top three, man. I probably like other movies, but those are probably my top three. Yeah. Paid in Full, to me, I just always bring up because it's a totally black movie, and then people will be like, Black Panther, Black Panther. 
I'm like, yo, man, it's like 20 years ago this shit came out, and it's a sure. better movie, and it's yeah. a true story. Yeah. Like, you know, I don't know. Black Panther's a comic remake and everything. Like, yeah. It, it, it was cool, man. Like, it was. It's a, not about Huey Newton. I, it's, it's not, not about. It's not about. Um, it's not about Stanley Tookie. Yeah, it's not about. Um, uh, uh, my man from Chicago. What is that? Uh, Fred Hampton. It's Fred not about Hampton, Fred Hampton. Yeah. Um, it's you know. It's not it about Bobby Steele. Do with, it doesn't have nothing to do with Trayvon Martin, Mike Brown, Eric Garner. You know. And it's it's Marvel and uh, Stan Lee. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They get money. Stan yeah. Lee get money. When you see Black, 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 yeah. When you see Black Panther, you see Stan Lee. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. Yeah, you don't even see the black empowerment of the movie. You just see the white man's dollar behind it. Like it just doesn't even make it an enjoyable experience. They did take some shots though in the video. Yeah. In the movie, yeah. yeah. No, I know. I mean, I'm not going to totally knock the movie. Yeah. It's plenty of movies worse than that movie. It was oh, a good. It was a I good just feel movie. like if you're going to come out like with how a. how they turned it into an empowerment thing when that wasn't even the premise of the movie. Yeah. Let alone yeah. The entire creation of the movie. You know yeah. what I mean? Like. They're I trying guess. to carry on a legacy of comics and entertainment for kids. Yeah. And here it is turning into a Black Panther project. Yeah, Don't get me wrong. I, I just, we need more Black Panther projects, but not out the, not on the big screen like that. It's almost like it's for Comic-Con. Exactly. Like now black, more black dudes is going to go to Comic-Con now. I don't know, man. I just feel like it was cheese, You'll see man. more black cosplayers, yes? I, I just feel like it was cheese, man. Script was cheese to me. I feel like they could have did better. I mean, if you're going to name some shit Black Panther, and it's American, <laughs> and you got black cast. That's what saved it, the black cast. Yeah. is what saved it, you know, Forrest Whitaker and stuff. They saved, made it okay to watch and everything. But, like, I just feel like they... Oh, man. Hey, come on. There's no movie about Huey Newton. There's no movie about Fred Hampton. And I feel like Fred Hampton should be the first one that, that we do a movie about as far as black... With the title Black Panther. You know what I mean? I don't know. True. Or maybe them dudes in Philly that all got bombed by the government. I don't know, man. One, one of the... Somebody like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, even... I mean, we got to get more eyes and ears onto the fact that most of the things that we have today are because of black people and then turning around and giving them the Stan Lee dollar to create that that black item you know what I mean that that cultural item it just doesn't work the same way it doesn't fuel the same fire you know what I mean yeah it's it's, it's, it's merchandising it is it's merchandising merchandising they, yeah. marketing they're selling the melanin any selling the melanin any way you can kill somebody slowly yeah definitely where are they getting the melatonin from where do you think they're getting it from? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's coming from crushed up pineal gland. Probably from like from some like some dude that got chopped up in Rwanda. Yeah. Yes. True story. You know what I mean? Or yeah, or yeah, black babies, yeah. yeah. I forgot yeah, Planned Parenthood. Oh yeah, we got oh, signs yeah. here in Phoenix. Black babies are dying. Help adopt. Yo. It's like a whole I forgot the whole the whole genocide. Yeah, yeah, the genocide from yeah, that's a whole nother bag. That's yeah. Whole yeah, that's a whole nother yeah. <laughs> So yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, 2020 time trip, man. My man Pat, Maya Michelle, this is Maya Michelle. In the yeah, and Jay all day. Nine, yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. I graduated in an A56. <laughs> all right, y'all. Be safe. Peace.